Hey, good morning, YouTube. It is 9:45 on well, it's March 23rd today. Uh, just giving an update for the radiation network and the monitoring sites that I posted in my last video. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. I had a bunch of people ask if there was anything about Canadian. I'll get into that in a sec, but uh, essentially this is the map I've been using just to monitor at least the west coast and uh, going into Denver, Colorado. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I plotted all these, uh, well, since back to the 13th, um, just into a spreadsheet, kept myself a graph going, going for Vancouver, the Washington, San Francisco, Arizona, Denver areas, and uh, essentially tried to plot something, you know, every hour that I could. Uh, some days uh, certain sites weren't reporting, and you get little gaps here and there, but essentially what's reporting off the radiation network aren't really, you know, huge spike differences. They've all seemed fairly consistent. Um, again, I, I've reported this daily with the exception of yesterday. I had a, uh, a virus at my computer and yeah, so I lost that uh, day's worth of data, but oh well. Um, the sites that I have plotted on that graph there, it's basically those five that I just said. There's one that reports up in Vancouver, the Seattle, Washington one. The one in San Francisco, I've always used that one in the uh, um, middle of California there, it seems to be the one that was consistently reporting when I first started and I stuck with that one. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona was the one I was using and then the one that was in the middle for Denver and it's always actually reported lower than the other ones but it was again the one that was on the first time. These ones seem to have popped up a couple of times. So anyways, I haven't seen anything out of the normal on those but of course that's what's being reported on there. It's just a beta gross count. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know if it's just maybe it doesn't report individuals. You know, I split these out into individual ones and again, uh, individual um, charts. And I, I haven't seen anything go up and down more than 10 or 20 in a full range from a top to a bottom. So, and that was across all of them, the individuals. This is for Washington. This chart was individual for uh, San Francisco, Arizona, Colorado. Um, I just started plotting for the... Uh, Environmental Protection Agency site because um, that was what I reported on uh, on Monday. So one thing I just wanted to say before I started this was it was interesting. You got to really read some of this stuff. Um, they had their post uh, up in here. If you click on Japan, because that's where it takes you to all of their things. It was just interesting about the one that I read yesterday, and this is just their news releases and you know the joint EPA and the Department of Energy statement. Radiation monitors confirm that no radiation levels of concern have reached the United States. But you got to really read into that. I mean, the fact that they say that no, and they, of course they capitalize this, no radiation levels. Well, no, that's not what they're saying. They're saying no radiation levels of concern. But who's concerned? You know, is that theirs? Or why don't you just let us know exactly what you're reporting on? So I'll, uh, I'll keep doing these as long as I can. Um, the ones I reported on... Uh, on last week again this this radnet map is just straight from their site I was reporting on the beta gross counts um, not the individual energy ranges just take too long to try and do a little thing on everything but I'm just gonna go through the ones that I reported on uh, Monday um, so yeah again it takes a sec once you click on them before they'll actually kick up so Seattle My God, these can be slow. See, on Monday. Okay, let's just see if I can get Seattle up there. For some reason, Seattle's not reporting. Monday I had it at 15. This morning I had it at a 16. So, nothing too much to worry about. Corvallis uh, was 43 for Monday. Today, Wednesday is 32. Eureka, California, I had a 12 on Monday. Today is reporting a 14. Down in uh, Nevada, I think I chose Vegas. Uh, that was a 134 on Monday. It's now rating an 81. Tucson, Arizona. I had this reading as a 61 on Monday. Today it's reading a 111. Albuquerque, Monday was a 144. Today it's reading 55. Uh, Colorado, I'd reported on all three. Um, so Colorado, uh, there's a Grand Junction, 
Grand Junction was 169 on Monday. Today is 166. Not really a huge change there. Colorado Springs was a massive 272. Uh, today reporting an 84. I'd heard yesterday as well, but somebody that reposted that the levels had dropped off Monday night back to around the 70 level. So good for that. Denver area. Uh, it was 217 on a Monday, reporting a 40 now. And again, the beta gross count, I, I'm not sure how it's calculated. Somebody's given me the information on all those different, how to understand all those um, different energy range readings, but um, I haven't had a chance to look into it. Dutch sent some link on uh, all the old harp sites, so I spent my day doing that yesterday. Good times, good times. All right, uh, Kearney, Nebraska, reading 126 on Monday. And today, come on. Again, sometimes you'll click the links and it just it takes a bit before it gets in there. Um, okay, they won't pop up. I had it this morning at a 102 uh, down in Kansas. Kansas, uh, Wichita is not reporting right now, so can't give you any numbers there. It was a 22 for Monday. The other one that I had that was uh, was a higher one was San Angelo in Texas. That was a 110. And of course this still hasn't repeated, but it was reading at a 94. So really quickly just to, uh, to go for the folks that were looking for something for Canada, if you do a radiation monitoring for Canada Google search, you'll find pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of them saying, woo, we're going to open nine more uh, radiation monitoring sites. Great, I'm thinking we don't have any as it is, but apparently they do have some. Um, they've got six. It's just good luck trying to find where those actually report to. Uh, two sites that I did manage to find in these is the um, Health Canada. They've got their Health Canada. This one was for an environmental and workplace health, but it's like it's, it's like a teaser. It's like, oh hey, we got some monitoring data. Click on monitoring data. Oh, it gives you all the locations. Alberta, BC, all across Canada. I'm thinking, great, gross beta activity in the air. That's what I want. And you click on it, and it takes you to, great, looks like a chart. 2007 10 02. So October 2nd, 2007 is when it started, and it ended in 2008, June 25th. That's kind of useless. Nice graph, though. Yeah, just like Canada. Keep all the information up there and updated, you know. Probably cutbacks in the government, whatever. Uh, another site that I found while searching through this was the um, another Health Canada site which gives an update on no radiation at harmful levels will reach Canada updated March 17th so again another well done updated uh, thing but they do have a site in here for the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission so of course I'm spending all my time going through all these things click on that one hey the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission great and you know, it gives you the news and stuff, but then all of a sudden, hey, interactive map, sweet. Click on the interactive map, and it'll give you a map, but it's of all, like, their offices, the facilities, and I thought, okay, well, let's just look at least where the nuclear power plants, because, and hey, it's got some nuclear power plants, but of course, if you zoom in on these, all it's going to give you is the location of their office. <laughs> like, how useless is that? Um... Yeah, very frustrating. Anyways, I'll put one link up there. They did say, uh, again, going through the, the, the Google searches, I did find... Uh